Welcome to our YouTube business video training. Designed to take you by the hand and walk you through the process of getting the most out of YouTube on behalf of your business. I'm very excited to have you here and I know that this will be very helpful for you. This exclusive video training will show you step by step, topic by topic and tool by tool what you need to know to dominate YouTube in the easiest way possible using the most effective tools and in the shortest time ever. This video training is comprised of 20 HD training videos ready to show you the latest YouTube business strategies. This is exactly what you are going to learn. Video number one, what is YouTube all about? Video number two, researching and picking a profitable niche. Video number three, creating and optimizing a business YouTube channel. Video number four, setting up a sales oriented YouTube video. Video number five, embedding your YouTube sales video on a blog post. Video number six, cross posting your sales video to your business's social channels. Video number seven, starting a live stream to promote a product launch URL. Video number eight, how to send your product video to the first page of search results. Video number nine, promoting your sales video with a custom YouTube ad campaign. Video number 10, creating a product consideration video ad for YouTube. Video number 11, creating a customer retargeting campaign on YouTube. Video number 12, outlining your perfect YouTube sales funnel for 2020. Video number 13, enabling monetization on YouTube easily in 2020. Video number 14, top YouTube marketing tips to increase sales in 2020. Video number 15, the more profitable types of YouTube videos in 2020. Video number 16, alternative monetization strategies for businesses on YouTube. Video number 17, YouTube business do's and don'ts. Video number 18, YouTube business premium tools and services to consider. Video number 19, YouTube business success stories. Video number 20, YouTube business frequently asked questions. Well, it's time for you to start getting the most out of YouTube on behalf of your business. I know you'll love this training. What is YouTube all about? Hey there, everyone. We'd like to congratulate you on your decision to take up this course and to thank you for choosing us as your guide. This is an immense opportunity for you to learn the ultimate strategies that will help you scale your online marketing efforts and grow your business on YouTube, the most popular video streaming platform on the Internet. We've created this course to help you discover all the ways in which you can use YouTube to make more money. We spent a lot of time on the platform and we've uncovered the best proven methods to monetize it beyond ad revenue. To kickstart your journey, we'd like to start with the basics. What is YouTube? YouTube is on the surface an entertainment centric platform. It is designed to make it easy for common people to find the type of video content that they enjoy and to stream it seamlessly from any device wherever they go. This entertainment model is a modernized spin of the traditional TV format and it is always online. This means that YouTube provides people from all around the world with 24-7 access to plenty of video content for free. Yet, this unlimited access to free video content 24-7 is fueled by brands, businesses, creators, and personalities that are benefiting from uploading their video content to YouTube. That's right, folks. The YouTube platform is open for creators that are willing to feed the platform with quality content in exchange to access an always online global audience for their products and services. How does it work? YouTube works because the platform provides an open window for consumers to find quality content and for brands and businesses to find the right audience whom to promote their offers. The methods to monetize these audiences are varied and extraordinarily effective. But the business model works like this. YouTube lets people and brands to join and use the platform for free. Brands, business, creators, and personalities 
produce quality content and upload it to the platform. People look for content they like, find the videos produced by brands in their niche, and start getting familiar with those brands. The higher the quality of the content, the more people start considering those brands. Brands output videos on a consistent basis and start growing their audience. Once those brands grow an engaged audience and build trust, they start to use monetization strategies that encourage people to spend money on products sold or promoted by those brands. Brands start making money and can scale their efforts. Why should you consider YouTube for business? Many people don't think of YouTube as a platform for business. But you can see results and profits pretty quickly if you do it right. And you don't have to be famous or to have a large budget for that. The main advantage of YouTube for Business is that it lets you leverage all your efforts from a single platform. For starters, it lets you show and build your brand's personality through videos. Long gone are the days of building awareness one image at a time. On YouTube, you can demonstrate your expertise in your niche. This means that you can produce videos to educate potential customers about the problems they face using your products or services as assistance. This in turn allows you to also showcase your products and services, their benefits, their features, and everything that makes them different from what's offered by the competition, all without being salesy. On YouTube, you also have a platform to broadcast special occasions, such as in-store events, conferences, and much more. You can also use it to run webinar-style presentations and to interact with your audience in real time. YouTube also has a self-serving advertising solution that allows you to promote your content and offers. It has some of the best rates around and gives you hyper-targeting features that will help you reach and convert the perfect customer. Additionally, YouTube helps you reduce overhead costs and the complexity of running an online business by providing you with a platform where you can host your video content for free. What's the future for YouTube business? Businesses on YouTube can look to a bright future because the number of active users on the platform is increasing year by year. Technologies such as 360 video, augmented reality, and virtual reality are going to enhance the user experience, and businesses can leverage that to better showcase their products and services. Also, Content marketing and brand sponsorship are becoming the most effective strategies to drive sales. And YouTube is the perfect environment to develop and run them. Are you ready to learn what it takes to get the most out of YouTube business in 2020? Yes? We're glad you are because we're going to get started in the following lesson. Researching and Picking a Profitable Niche Hey there everyone, are you ready to get started? Because this lesson is all about the first steps that you have to take before you go on to YouTube. That's right friends, there's homework to do before you go upload your first business video. But don't worry, it'll only take a bit of your time and will help you stay in line once you start doing YouTube business. This first step is to research and find a profitable niche to build your YouTube business. A niche is simply the category of product or service that you want to promote and sell. So let's suppose that you are familiar with healthy living and medical stuff and you want to dedicate your business to that. That's a good starting point. Now you have to select your niche by narrowing down the exact type of healthy living stuff that you want to promote. That will be your niche. Let's also suppose that you are not sure what to promote yet and that you don't know where to start. In this case, you have to start by learning where to find top selling niches, how to identify one, and then pick one. This guide will help you regardless of your situation, so let's do it from the beginning. Step number one, researching and picking a niche on top online marketplaces. You don't have to try your luck by promoting random offers to see if a niche is profitable or not. You can find this information easily simply by looking at top selling categories in popular online marketplaces. While there are a ton of marketplaces you can do your research around, including Amazon, 
we have found the ones that make it easier to research, find, and pick a niche. These are ClickBank and JVZoo. So let's how easy it is to do it. On ClickBank, start by visiting ClickBank.com. You'll have an idea of what type of products and niches perform well by checking the featured offers on the home page. But the best way to find the best niches is to go to the marketplace by clicking on the affiliate marketplace tab, then clicking on the search icon on the following page. Next, click on the drop down menu below sorts results by and select gravity to position best selling offers on top. This is how you can identify the most profitable niches on this site, but be aware that you'll get similar results in other marketplaces. To identify the niche of an offer by name, look at the cat or category section in the offers card. Notice how some of the top selling niches are health and fitness, self-help, e-business, online marketing and cooking. There you have it, some of the niches you can pick from. Searching on JVZoo Market JVZoo is an affiliate platform that is similar to ClickBank. To find what niches are hot and trending there, simply visit jvzoomarket.com to go to the website's marketplace. Now scroll down to the Today's Top Sellers section. There you'll see the type of products that are currently making the most money. And to find top selling niches, check under Top Categories. Step number two, researching related search terms. Now that you have picked your niche, it is time that you find the search terms related to that niche. Search terms are long tail keywords that potential customers use to find content in your niche, and also when they are researching products before making a purchase decision. It is important that you collect these search terms before you start your YouTube business, because you can use them to optimize your videos for maximum reach. On Google, let's start this research on Google. This is the search engine we'll use because a large majority of potential customers will use it. What you'll do is type your niche keyword into the search bar and wait for the autocomplete suggestions. These are the most popular search terms that your audience is using on Google. And the good news is that by using these terms you can rank your videos on top of the search results pages. We'll be teaching you how to do that in an upcoming lesson. So let's continue with what we have at hand on YouTube. All right, let's take the search to YouTube. Although you'll be targeting the same audiences on both platforms, it could happen that you'll find different segments of the same audience using different search terms on YouTube. So simply go to YouTube and type your niche keyword in the search bar. Then wait for the autocomplete suggestions. And there you have the results. As you can see, although the results are very similar, they can include more specific keywords that give you ideas about what type of videos you can create to funnel those searches. Wrapping up. You can finalize by saving the search terms you found by adding them to an Excel spreadsheet. This will help you to have them handy every time that you create content for your channel. Creating and Optimizing a Business YouTube Channel Hey there friends! You just did a great job researching and picking a niche to start off on the right foot. And now, it is time to go on YouTube. Your job now is to establish a presence. And for that, you have to create a YouTube channel for your business. In this lesson, we are going to show you how to create a branded YouTube channel that is optimized to reach the right viewers and customers step-by-step step, the right way. Creating your channel. To create a YouTube channel, you have to start by going to the YouTube website while logged in to your Google account. Once there, click on the profile icon to open the YouTube menu, and then click on the settings tab. On the following page, click on the add or manage your channels link. On the following page, click on create new channel. Now you are going to enter the name of your brand or business into the brand account name field. Next, click on the Create button. Customizing and optimizing your channel. Great job! Now that you created a branded channel, it is time for you to customize it and optimize it. 
Start by clicking on the Customize Channel button. This will take you to the Channel Customization page where you are going to add your channel icon, your channel art, your channel description, and more. Let's start with the channel icon. For this, click on the Edit button inside the icon placement. Next, click on the Edit button. On the following page, click on Upload Photo and upload your company logo. Awesome job! Now go back where you left on YouTube to add your channel art. This is a cover image that will appear on your channel page. First, click on the Add Channel Art button. Next, click on Select Photo from your computer. Then locate and upload your cover image. Lastly, click on Select. Now it is time to optimize the channel. For this, click on the About tab and then on Channel Description on the following page. What you'll do now is to compose a description of your brand and a summary of the content that viewers will find on the channel. Here you are going to include keywords and search terms. So your channel appears on searches that target those same keywords and terms in YouTube searches. You can click on Done when you finish. And that is it folks. As you can see, creating a branded YouTube channel for your business is a piece of cake. You just need to apply the right optimizations to make it really attractive and search friendly from the get-go. Setting up a sales-oriented YouTube video. Hey there everyone! We just walk you through the steps necessary to create and optimize a high converting YouTube channel for your business. And now we are ready to move to the next step. That's right, we're about to show you how to set up a sales oriented video. We know you've been anticipating this lesson because video is where the meat is and your expectations are right because we are going to show you not only how to upload the video but also how to apply the optimizations that will help you attract viewers and convert. Getting started. Let's start off by uploading your video. By this point, you should have a video ready to publish. So go to the YouTube homepage while logged into your channel and click on the Profile Menu button. Next, click on the YouTube Studio option in the menu. Once on the YouTube Studio dashboard, click on the Create button. Then click on the Upload Video option. Now you are going to click on Select File. Locate the video file that you are going to upload from your computer and double click on it to start the upload. The video will start uploading and you can continue the job by customizing it and adding your optimizations. Customizing the video. Okay, let's start by composing the video title in the title field. Here, you are going to type the title of your video. Don't try to be too original. Simply describe the content of the video and add the keywords or search terms that best describe that content well, like we're doing in this example. As you can see, we added one of the top search terms we found during our keyword research. And we added the name of our business at the end of the title to differentiate it from the rest of the videos on the results page. Alright, now it is time to compose the video description in the description field below. Again, the secret here is to add a brief summary of the content in your video filled with keywords and search terms. Here, you are not as restricted by space. So we recommend you add from 3 to 5 keywords and search terms, the ones that are most relevant to the video. It is also important that you add an action URL with a call to action at the end of the description. That way, you can instruct viewers to click on the URL to discover a product or offer at a given point during the video and they'll simply have to scroll down a bit and click while they're still engaged. Now click on Upload Thumbnail to upload a custom thumbnail for your video. Always add custom thumbnails to your videos instead of using a segment of your video as thumbnail. Alright, now select the No, It's Not Made for Kids option under Audience and click on More Options. Here are the additional configurations that you are going to do. First, insert your keywords and search terms in the Tags field. Next, select the language of your video. Now click on the Category menu button and select the correct category of your video. Done? Okay, 
Then let's click on Next to move to the next step. Now it is time to add video elements to your video. There are two types of video elements you can add. End screen are elements that you can add at the end of the video. And cards are elements that you can add during the video. These elements are on-screen buttons that you can use as CTAs to encourage viewers to complete an action during or at the end of the video. Let's show you a quick example. Let's add a subscribe CTA and a recommended video card at the end of the video. For this, click on the Add button corresponding to Add an End Screen. Once on the End Screen's window, click on Plus Element. Next, click on the Subscribe option. The editor will insert the subscribe card at a point near the end of your video, but you can select a different time. Now click again on Plus Element and select Video. Now select the Best for Viewer option and click on Save. Awesome job! Once you are done adding your video elements, click on Next to continue. On the following window, select the Public option, then click on the Publish button. And that'll be it! You can copy the video link provided by YouTube to share your video on your other social channels. But you can hold on to this for a bit, because we'll be showing you how to share and embed your video in a couple of upcoming lessons. Stay tuned.